Let's see. Because of you, velocity banking finally makes sense, but my bank will only let me put money in my line of credit only up to the 10K limit. Am I missing something? Yeah, so, Robin, let's say you make more than 10K a month and you only have a $10,000 line of credit. That's okay. Every time you zero out the line of credit, you're going to take money out and go chunk at something, right? So we're going to, you know, when I'm looking at your numbers, we might have to apply the micro chunking method where we're, you know, just throwing money at, at debt constantly because you make a lot of money. So there's going to be certain, just like for her in this situation right here, there's going to be times where, where she's got a lot of cash. Okay. Between March and July, she is going to bring the line of credit back to zero, right? What does she do? Especially if we're using a credit card and more money is staying in the line of credit. So in a situation like that, when you've zeroed out the line of credit, your bills are paid, and you have cash in your account, guess what? You are starting to see results. You are starting to see your cash flow gain and go up. That is an indication that you may be ready for the next chunk, right? So I hope that uh, is pretty clear, Robin. But yeah, you can't put more than your credit limit. So what do we do after doing velocity banking for six months, nine months, almost a year? We go back to the credit union and say, hey, give me more money. So now you're creating more money out of thin air just, just by utilizing your good credit score, right? So very, very important to have good credit here. 